Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar and in this video you will learn how we can create a stylish donor chart for KPI matrix in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, I have uh, here one KPI matrix. You can take any matrix name here. I have taken just KPI and I have connected these beautiful and stylish donors chart with this KPI. So here, uh, if I will change the value of this KPI matrix, let's say I want to take it as 10%, uh, then you can see the changes in all the donors. Basically, I have connected these four donors with the one matrix only. You can take your four matrix and you can connect uh, the each donut with uh, other matrix. So if I will change the value, let's say 25 or 50, 70 and 90 like that so it's looking beautiful you can see uh, this chart also all right so we will learn in this video how we can create this beautiful stylish toner chart for kpi matrix in microsoft excel and in the second part of this video you will learn how we can create uh, a chart with conditional formatting in stylish toner chart so here you can see I have given this uh, color code like red will be 0 to 40, amber 40 to 60 and green 60 to 100. So if I will change the value, let's say 30, then it will be red. If I will change it as 39, then still it will be in red. If I will take it as let's say 40, then it will change into uh, amber color as well as the style of the donut also will be changed you can see if when it was 39 then the style will style was this and if i will take here 40 then this is the style and similarly if i will go or uh, till 60 then still it will the same style and same color but when i will go above 60 then it will be in green and again the style will be changed of the uh, donut all right friends so it will work like that so we will learn in the next part of this video how we can create this conditional formatting in a stylish toner chart in this video we will learn how we can create these four beautiful chart in microsoft excel so let's start without delay i'm just going to copy uh, this kpi and going to add a new worksheet here and we'll paste it here so we'll take a, a simple support cell here i will put a formula and that will be 1 minus or 100 percent minus d1 the actual performance of the kpi all right friends now here i will create a donor chart so i'll select this and even i can take the kpi also so the chart title will be available now select these three cells go to the insert and then charts and i will insert a donor chart i will take this one all right, so first of all, remove the legend, select the legend, press delete button and just resize the chart as per your requirement. So uh, select the chart and go to the uh, format and remove the shape fill as no fill and shape outline take as no outline. And I will remove the grid line from the worksheet also. So click anywhere on the worksheet, go to the view and uncheck the grid lines. All right, so grid lines have been removed from the worksheet. Now we can take it like that. All right, so first of all, we will create the first chart, okay, first KPI chart. To create this chart, I'll select this value slice because value slice is 90. So double click on this value slice and then go to the format data point. Click on fill and line option. Here, take this solid fill. You can take any color so recently i have taken this color all right so you can take this color from here this is the color this one and now i'll go to the border this is the important thing in this chart select this solid border take the same color which we have taken and now bit currently it is 1.5 point take it as 15 point all right and here in cap type you can keep it as flat or square whatever you want what for joint type make sure you have taken round all right friends 
now we have taken i think some different color this color margin solid all right friends now select this rest area the blank area or the orange slice double click on this now here first of all take border as no line now take the uh, solid fill color here and take the same color which we have taken in the rest uh, kpi part and transparency just take it as 75 percent all right so it will look like this if i will change the value let's say uh, 50 then it will look like this 45 then it will look like this all right friends so this chart is almost ready we just need to go to the insert and then i will insert a tax box and just drag this tax box here click on this border and then press equal to in formula bar and click on d1 which is the actual performance of kpi and just press enter so this tax box has been linked with the d1 all right now align middle and just take uh, font name impact and size around 32 and take the same color which we have taken in the chart so keep the chart theme the same and this kpi name also all right so our first chart is ready just remove the outline from this uh, tax box just click and go to the format save outline no outline and save fill as no fill so our first chart is ready you can keep both the chart and make this group now we will create the second chart second chart is this one all right so to create this chart what i will do i'll copy this chart and will paste here so rest uh, step will remain same only we will change the color go to the fill and line and i'll take here this color which is orange for the fill right solid fill and for border i'll take the same color the orange only difference here i will take 35 percent transparency and i will take here in place of uh, round i'll take this meter and i'll select the second slice this one double click on this and then go to the uh, fill and line here i'll take again orange and keep transparency as 75 all right so our uh, second chart is also ready you can see here it is looking like this all right friend now we will create the this chart third one to creating the third chart i'll copy this chart and then paste here again i'll double click on this slice this big slice and then go to the fill and line here i will change the color i'll take this blue light blue and same color i'll take in border this light blue all right now the important thing is this will change the dash type i'll take the this one which is round dot click on this and here in cap type just keep it as flat or square and join type you can take any one now select the uh, second slice this blank area slice and here fill the same color make sure you have transparency 75 percent all right our second chart the third chart is also ready now click on this data label change the color as per the theme this one and this color also so you can see here this chart is looking like this now we will create this chart which is the last one so just copy this and paste here now first of all we'll change the color so double click on this slice and go to the fill and line and then here i'll take color uh, you can take any color uh, here let's say i'm taking this one or i'll take this orange simple all right now i'll go to the border and take the same color 
which I have taken there. And in place of cap type, it is a square. Now I'll take round here. That is the difference in both chart. All right, so you can see when I will take round, it will look like this. Now I'll select the second slice, which is blank area. And I'll take the same color. Make sure you have transparency 75%, which is already there. Now select the data label and give the same color and for this also. All right, friends. So our four chart is ready. It is quite simple. Just we need to use border of the donut. All right, that's how you can create this chart. If I will change the value, let's say 95, then it will look like this. You can see all the charts. Okay, friends, in the next part of this video, I'll tell you how you can put the all uh, these three chart, first three chart together by using conditional formatting in stylish tonal chart. Okay, friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for the watching.